Cass here and I am back with another video today. I will be doing the what's in my backpack video. So let's get started. This is my backpack. It's Vera Bradley, uh, I forgot what the pattern is called. Cranberry, Canterbury, something along the lines. When I find out the name, I'll leave it, put a name below. There you go. Um, yes, I like this backpack. Well, very probably backpacks can be a little pricey depending on what you want for a backpack. Um, but I specifically like this type of backpack because of the laptop case it has inside. And I basically take my laptop with me everywhere. So I thought this would be a good choice. And I've had them before in the past, these types of backpacks. Um, so I guess we can get started in the front pouch. Okay, so. The Vera Rally backpack has different compartments, and I guess I'll just like walk you guys through all of them. So the first pouch, we're gonna unzip that. And in the first pouch, I have my planner, which is really bright right now. But this is my planner. I'm in my first year of college, so they don't provide planners. Well, I guess some college students, some don't, but I bought my own from Walmart, and it's just handy dandy and I just write all my assignments that I have to do in there and it just has a calendar and little quotes in front of each month October that's my birthday month the quote says time is the most valuable thing you can spend it's true for September mistakes are proof you are trying also true but yeah so basically I just keep all of my homework and any dates or video ideas or anything in this planner and it helps me a lot. Also, well this is, I forgot to show what the front looks like. This is what it looks like. So, right here, it has another zipper compartment, which currently is holding my glasses. If you guys haven't seen me with my glasses on, this is what I look like and it's probably just glaring and I can't see anything right now. But yeah, um, I have my glasses in there and it also has like two pouches. This is like a clear pouch where you could like keep your ID or something. And this is just like a plain pouch you could keep a card in. They also have like four, one, two, three pencil slider thingies where you can keep pencils or pens. And then on the right of that, they have a huge pouch. And in that huge pouch, I currently have a stapler, a baby stapler, zebra print from Walmart. I have a plug-in for my phone, plug in the wall. I don't know why I have that in there. And then usually I have a pack of gum, which fell out earlier. So, yep, that's what I have in that compartment. Okay, and also on each side they have space for like a water bottle. So yeah, or whatever you want to stick in those sides. I usually would keep a water bottle. On to the big section of the backpack, which is where everything is. Okay, so depending on what classes or what teachers I have that day, which I have the same teachers every day, but I'm saying like, some of them will make me bring my book and some won't. So today I only have two like books that I needed for classes in there, which were my history book and my sociology book. So those are the only two books I had to carry today. Other than that, in the front, in this pouch, they have, I'm gonna open it for you. They have two slits right here, which in those two slits I have staplers, like a little stapler thing that you put in the stapler, and girly things on the other side. Sorry, boys. Um, <laughs> um, getting back to the rest of the section, in the middle section, which is basically the main section of this, I have <coughs> a cough attack. No, <laughs> um, I have my pencil pouch case thingy, which I love this because it keeps me so organized because I am always losing pencils. Like, I will get a 20 pack of mechanical pencils for the first day of school and two weeks from now, I will have zero. So I'm glad I got this this year so I can keep track of them. But basically it's just black and it opens. There's like a little button, you just snap it right open and pull it out and I have some highlighters, the basics, um, pens, black, red, and blue, which is basically what you need. Two normal pencils, you know, if you want to go back in the olden days, use those two normal pencils. You might need those when you're out of lead or something. And like 20 mechanical pencils shoved right in here. But this is really handy to keep track of all your utensils. So I'm glad that I got that. Also, I have a notebook for each class. So I just have them color coordinated with 
each class I am. So like, for like green went with sociology. Yellow is always an English color, yellow. Um, math is always blue. Like this is how I've been since elementary school. And history is always red. So when I go out shopping for notebooks, those are the colors I like to keep track of. Sometimes English can be red. Sometimes history can be yellow, you know, I can switch those around, but mostly history is red, English is yellow. Math is always blue. In science, when I have a science class, it's always green, but since I didn't have one, I had sociology this year, I just switched that one to green. So yeah, that's how I have my notebooks handy. Also, I have coordinating folders, okay? So basically I have a folder for each class also, and they just match with each of the colors of the notebook. So I keep homework in here and I keep any papers that they give me. So yeah, that's how that whole thing goes. That's what's in that pouch. And then I just have one random folder for my school. Um, is there anything else on here? Oh, a calculator, you know, for math. I hate math. Is there anyone else in there who math is their least favorite subject? If so, comment below, like this video, because I am not a math person at all. And it actually has nothing to do with my career. Half the class I have to take my freshman year has nothing to do with my career. But that's just how life works, you know. We've got to get the basics out the way. Um, moving into this part, which is the part that I love most about this backpack, is the laptop section. So you, boom, undo that. And I have my laptop, my BFF, because I have no friends at my school. It's going to be okay. I'm, I'm a good social person. I'll make some friends soon. Um, yeah, the basic laptop. I had a pink case on it, but I feel like when I took the case off, there was just like crumbs and stuff in the crevices of the laptop, which I did not like. So I just took the case off. And then I also keep the charger. I have the extension thing on there if anyone was wondering why it's so long. And then, um, that's all I have in the laptop section. And lastly, in my backpack, I have my wallet. Um, the wallet's obviously matching the backpack. It's also from Fair Bradley, and it's new. Like, I just got it, which I'm in love with the new style of this one because it basically has a compartment for every single thing. But it has, like, a little lanyard, so, like, when I'm walking outside or walking, and I just put it around my neck. And it has my car keys on it, but... Yep, has like this little compartment with the change and the, oh, the zipper's over here. And then this one, which is like where my ID and all this other great stuff is. So yeah, and actually that's all in general. So, I have to put all the stuff back in the backpack, but that's all I have in my backpack. Um. It can get pretty heavy, so I suggest doing some back workouts, you know, because I have a back of an 80 year old, so it's a lot of work carrying around this backpack. If you can, drop off books, or I don't know if you're in high school, put your book in your locker, or make sure you know if you need it the next day so then you don't have to suffer like I do, because sometimes I just am like dazing off in class, and then I'm like, oh, let me just bring it just in case, and then I'm like a hunching over, like walking on campus, and it's just mm, horrible. But yeah, so um, that concludes this video of the what's in my backpack. I don't know if it's a tag or not, but what's in my backpack video slash tag. Um, I want any of you guys to do it. And if you have any more video requests, leave them down below. I know someone requested a room tour, but um, I'm going to do a room tour for sure. But um, I'm still in the process of decorating my room. We just moved into this house a few months ago, so um, I got my back, my backpack. I had the bed and stuff that I want. Um, I'm currently still ordering furniture and like lights for my room, like the decorative thing. So I want to be able to show you guys the decorated room when it's done. So um, if you want an unfinished room tour, you guys, I can do that too. But yep, I was just planning on doing one when it's all done and looks pretty. But if you guys still want me to do one when my room is how it is now, you can just comment that below. And then if you have any more requests, leave them down below. Also, I'm up for anything, guys. Anything. So, sorry, that was TMI. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys later. Bye.